Right, these are actually called nidazines, and the street name is actually Frankenstein, a little easier to pronounce and also uh, explain. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco is live in Butler County after speaking to those who work closely with those who use these opioids. Courtney, we really want to get this information out to parents tonight as we head into the weekend. That's right, because we learned those most at risk are those recreational drug users who are experimenting with, say, cocaine at a party or taking Adderall from a friend. If it's laced with this Frankenstein stuff, pharmacists say it could take a lot more Narcan for paramedics to revive you. One box of the nasal spray called Narcan that revives someone overdosing might not be enough for the new opioid on the street called Frankenstein. I always have Narcan. A ton of knock in. Nurse Daryl Hams is in Butler County working directly with people who use this type of drug. It's a tranquilizer, so it, it like dopes you out. So Frankenstein is a good name. The night before they, you know, use the opiate the night before. Um, and they, they can't open their eyes still by 11 a.m. the next day. Like it's it's zombifying. Pharmacists say it's a nitazine, up to 20 times more potent than the fentanyl that county coroners say is plaguing our region with deaths. A lot of folks report they like it. Some people report, you know, a more intense high. So when, you know, when you kind of ask folks, but you know, why, why fentanyl? They're kind of like, why wouldn't I? It's cheap and it's a really good. In Southwest Ohio, Butler County has had the most submissions of drugs containing nitazines, according to the Bureau of Criminal Investigators, with 14 to 19 cases. Ham says parents should tell their teens and college students tonight, drugs that look like cocaine, Adderall, Percocets, could be laced with this and fentanyl. Like Russian roulette, like super dangerous. Like it just, it's a whole different landscape. I've been doing this multiple countries for 30 years it's not the same as it used to be like it's not it's not kids having fun it's not like doing a little drug on the weekend to kick back it, it's it's life and death and i don't want to sound like an old dude but it's like don't do it you know just it's just it's too it's just too dangerous and Ham said college students and teenagers should carry this with them. You can get it at a pharmacist or your local health department. It comes with two nasal sprays in one box. But remember, if this is the Frankenstein stuff, then it could take more than two nasal sprays to revive you. Reporting live in Butler County, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News. All right, Courtney, thank you.